this is another episode of Propaganda with Heinz Schubler. Uh, Heinz isn't here right now, but uh, as you can tell, it's a German name, and the Germans were the best at propaganda. Um, I don't want to give you a history lesson of propaganda of uh, the Germans, because um, I've done it before in videos, but I'll give you a small segment. Uh, they did have a Ministry of Propaganda, and it was headed by a man named Joseph Goebbels. In the United Kingdom, they were also into propaganda in World War II. It's basically, you know, you make up lies and you tell it to the population. Various reasons to increase morale on your side, decrease morale on the other side. If one of your ships is sunk, uh, you deny that it was sunk. If you didn't um, sink a ship that uh, was supposed to be taken out in a bombing raid, you said that you sunk the ship. You know, it's all about morale and lies. Who really won World War II? The elites, the ones who made um, incredible amounts of money, war profiteering. That's why they have wars. They can sell a lot of armaments, get governments to um, buy them, and uh, seeing as these elites own the banks, the banks end up with a lot of debt that the taxpayer has to pay, and that's the general population you know, who works for these elites. Another propaganda story that we haven't heard lately in South America, not in Brazil, but a neighboring country, Venezuela. What's really going on in Venezuela? No one really knows, but trust me, don't believe mainstream media about it. Heinz Schubler, propaganda minister. I work for Old Spicy. You know, it's a smell. You go after shave. You know, it makes you smell good. Why do you wear it? Several reasons. One reason, um, you want to attract a mistress. You know, you're married to a wife and she's got a kind of fat, fat ass. And you don't like spending time with her. She's bitchy. You know, you married her. She was pretty, but now she's just, yeah. So you got to get someone new. So you will use this uh, smell attractant. Other reasons? Well, you wear lots of this stuff because when you've got your mistress and she's wearing perfume, You've got to overpower the smell of the female perfume when you come back to your fat wife. What other reasons do you wear this perfume after shave cologne? I thought of something, but I can't remember. Okay, we're back to Germany. Why isn't Heinz Schubler? Talking while we've got the Germany hat on. I don't know. What else can I tell you about propaganda? I'll give you the one eye treatment. It means I'm Illuminati. You only see one of my eyes. That's the all seeing eye of Horus. It's the CBS eye. Looking at you, looking at them, looking at you. Who's going to blink first? I'm wearing this uh, jacket, it's pleather, you know, like plastic leather. I keep moving. I was reviewing um, a film. The film was 1936 and it was made in Berlin. And it was all the Nazi Germans who were masters of propaganda. And it was a propaganda film. So all the Nazis, I 
were all decked out in uniforms. Black uniforms, brown uniforms, white uniforms. All of them have the swastika on their arm. And then Berlin had enormous red flags with swastika on them. Unbelievable amounts of these flags and Adolf Hitler was there. Um, when I was in Berlin for Berlin Fashion Week about, I don't know, maybe close to 10 years ago, um, they had a huge mural and it was Hugo Boss, you know, the German fashion designer guy. Well, it turns out that the Hugo Boss company was very much involved in making these Nazi uniforms back in the day. King Clancy, our director and general shit demon, wants to tell you that uh, the history of the Nazi party is that they had very itchy noses. Why? Um, because somebody had tear gassed them. Who? Ernst Rome. Ernst Rome was the head of the brown shirt. They were, that's what they wore. Their uniform was brown. And they had this thing called the Night of the Long Knives where the brown shirts were just um, weren't liked anymore by the rest of the Nazis. So if you happen to be a member of this branch of Nazism, um, they got rid of you. Ernst Röhm was um, uh, one of these high up Nazis and uh, the Nazis were kind of cuckoo. They were all very strange people. Politics makes for strange bedfellows. But Ernst Rome was um, queer. And strangely enough, when they had the concentration camps, they um, locked up the Russians, the communists, Oh, well, everyone knows the Jews and the homosexuals. They made the homosexuals wear a pink triangle. The Jews wore a Star of David. I don't know what they made the Russians wear. So, you know, why was Ernst Röhm and these other homosexuals in the Nazi party in the first place? King Clancy thinks it was s and &M. It was all about these leather, you know, all this Hugo Boss leather kind of uniforms, black leather boots. You know, there's this subculture and queer na nation, you know, men wearing leather, leather harnesses, and leather hats, and leather jock straps. Other chaps with their ass cheeks hanging out bare naked. Ernst Rome. And then the other strange stories about the Nazis, you know. They locked up the Jews, they gassed the Jews, the Holocaust. And then, you know, you look at the history of Adolf Hitler. And some stor stories say that um, he was at least part Jew. They called him the Austrian Corporal because he wasn't actually from Germany. He was from Austria. Well, they all are related and they speak German languages. There's other strange stories that I don't know. There's no way you're ever going to verify them. But the really far out stories are that Adolf Hitler... 
uh, belong to this Illuminati bloodline. And Hitler, what, that wasn't his real last name. He was a bastard child of one of these Illuminati bloodlines, probably Rothschild. Apparently the Rothschilds um, fathered a lot of children through their housemaids. And this is how Adolf Hitler came to be. He wasn't, you know, officially recognized as a Rothschild. You know, the bankers, the Rothschilds. But, um, and then the strange stories are, they, they just get stranger and stranger. Uh, well, there was the strange movie from the 1970s starring John, Donald Pleasance called The Boys From Brazil about um, clones of Adolf Hitler boys brought up and they were trying to get another generation of Adolf Hitlers other stories about children of Adolf Hitler uh, the current Chancellor of uh, Germany Angela Merkel they say these stories are that she is an offspring of Adolf that um, there was a female British Prime Minister who was another child of Adolf and there was another lead European leader female that was a child of Adolf then there's the Bush family you know President Bush and President Bush Jr. Stories in the back pages of the internet is uh, that wasn't their original name. They had a German name and they changed it to Bush. And they're Illuminati bloodline. Not sure which one. And then there's the strange story that, you know, Barbara Bush, the first lady of the United States, was the bastard child of. The great magician, the great beast, the uh, British kook, bisexual, drug addict, fiend, um, Alistair Crowley. Barbara Bush is supposed to be his daughter by some magical ceremony where he knocked up some woman. Are we done? Are we done? The Boys from Brazil. It was on national TV in the 1970s. Donald Placence and um, the Hitler clones. You might be able to um, rent it on YouTube or Google or something or you have like one of those guys you know that have got those set top boxes that so you can get illegal movies you know that guy might be able to set you up with the boys from Brazil I don't know how many times they want me to tell you the story Prescott Bush the senator father of the first president Bush was linked to a um, banking conglomerate that was uh, said to be doing business with Nazi Germany while the Americans were fighting Nazi Germany. Skull and Bones, Yale University, Chairman Mao of China, Fidel Castro, Adolf, I mean, a Pierre Trudeau of Canada. John D. Rockefeller. Morgan of Morgan Bank, who was the financier 
of Nikola Tesla, the great inventor. When Tesla finally died in poverty because Morgan um, called all his loans, wouldn't fund him anymore. Apparently, Donald Trump's uncle went to retrieve all of the Tesla papers. Why? I don't know. All of these people's names keep coming up in history. Why? Because we live in the Truman Show, also known as the Matrix. Yes, Heinz Schubler, I just want to remind you that this is a comedy channel and we do satire, which is a form of comedy where we use a straight face and tell you bald-faced lies. We think they're lies. Are they lies? That's propaganda. You're never really sure if it's satire, truth, lies. The famous Prime Minister of Great Britain, Benjamin Disraeli, the first Jewish Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He was famous for saying that our lies, damn lies, and statistics. Why is it in this day and age that our government statistics keep asking you what race you are? What's your racial background? It's because they're all closet Nazis and they want to see how you fit in their eugenics program.